It's Friday night, and you're listening to the dulcet sounds of Starbase Radio. Let's check in on the Starbase dailies from August 28th through the 30th, 2024. See they're continuing work on the chopsticks, all of those brackets that they're putting the, I'm going to call them crumple zones. They're like little metal pillows on. More reinforcement work. A little bit of a welding blanket or something there, it looked like. Look out below. That's what those nets are for sometimes, right? Over there at orbital pad A. You know, it occurs to me that maybe you're listening to this on Saturday morning. Or Saturday afternoon. More of those brackets going in along the chopsticks. There's some with the actual uh, crumple zones installed. What did I say on the flame trench today? Fig Newtons without the Newton? Anybody know what a Fig Newton is? The grinding work happening there. Just all of the lifts. Look at all look at all of the people moving. If you just sort of blur your eyes a little bit and look at that scene, you see the people moving. More of the cameras up there. The largest box, yeah, the largest box is for an IMAX camera. See how it's all closed out? It looks like it's got clamps on it actually. Wish, oh, I like that. Look at that three camera PTZ in the lower left. <laughs> it's got all sorts of stuff on there. This is over on Tower 2. Looks like they're putting in the chopstick stop. Say that ten times fast. More of the sheet piles over in front of Tower 2. Now, I, let's see, I don't know if I know exactly where this is from the shot, but those sheet piles look like they may be involved with the flame trench that may go in. Got to say hi to Starhopper real quick. And all the way back at the rockets, you see the signs there where it says stop? Like, you used to be able to drive all the way back there, but now you can't drive back there anymore because uh, SpaceX was the only property owner back there. And if there's a public road that uh, goes into properties and you're the only property owner back there, you can actually petition to have that part of the road closed and basically just make it a private road. But continuing work over there at the Rocket Garden, we talked about the payload hatch previously. That's the payload hatch, the hatch that goes into the payload area. The scaffolding fungus has grown up the side of the parking deck there. And in the background, in the middle there, you can see Ship 31's heat shield. Replacement still ongoing. The gratuitous tilt shot. There you go, Jack. From Mary here. It is a lot of tiles an oddly flapping piece of plastic. It looks like that plastic was actually trying to cover up or protect something. It might have come loose. <laughs> Those are what floors on the scaffolding. It's like floor, for, floor 13, floor 14, floor 17. Forward flaps, camera systems, and heat shield tiles. Basically just every tile says heat, every, every level says heat shield tiles. See the worker there is tied off to a safety point. You see the harness behind him there. Up to something. Some of those harnesses are cool because they automatically expand and contract so you can move around. But if you yank on them too quickly, they've got like an inertial mechanism a lot of the times. It gets it to catch, sort of like a, a seat belt. It's a very small entrance to a very large factory. This back here is a booster 15 barrel section, it looks like. towed around on little transportation casters. Nice. Don't need an SBMT for that. <laughs> Apparently we filmed the ballet of the barrel section for quite some time there. Ah, uh, here we go. B14.1, the test tank that they were slapping around. And they've added some attachment points, some lifting points to it. I assume I got that right. 14 point. Yeah, that's the one they were slapping. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Very slowly but surely installing these office bin building windows. I wonder if that's like a suction system, like a vacuum system that holds the glass and then releases it when you uh, get it all connected. That's the SpaceX logo. Yeah, you can see the little the little 
fly EX thing like it's a launch trajectory thing. I imagine they're gonna have a big sign that goes on that. Those look like mount points, maybe. What a big, cool-looking factory, though. Oh, <laughs> apparently here in this shot, it's been expanded to a full trapezoid. Nice, very futuristic. Looks like you could drive a cyber truck through there. It's gonna be like a normal door. <laughs> it's labeled the landscaping outside the star factory. Nice, <laughs> these palm trees. Back over here, had a little bit of rain through. You can see water in the uh, reflecting pool area there. The chopsticks are the new OLM. <laughs> work continues on the chopsticks, as opposed to work continues on the OLM. Nice. Continuing to work on those uh, crumple zones. Fig Newton, Catch Pillows, whatever you want. to. Hey, give me some better names down in the comment, and I'll try to use some better names next time. Catch pads. We've apparently labeled them catch pads. Maybe these should be called mitts. There we go. Thanks, Thomas. I think would have been the person who put that in. More work on the chopstick systems over here. It's the carriage. Let's see if we get a shot of the rail system being uh, completed again. Remember, they took some parts of the rail system off. Uh, this one says work part of the way up the tower. It's the first tower because you can see the cables there in the middle. I was trying to decide which tower that was. And it had the cables and it looked like it wouldn't paint it or coated. The ship disconnects at the very top of the screen there. <laughs> I like this. Like who would know what this label means? The tank farm. This is the lock side. Nice. There you can see, see how this chopsticks are taller? Like the, the landing rails are actually above the main. So see there? You see how the big pipe, the big thick pipe part, and then it has that rail up above it? It's almost like big piston shock absorbers. You can see the silver sort of pistons there. Oh, look, they're going down. That? What? I, th th they're trying to make it slip off the end? It's probably just part of the way they were lowering them there, but they were in an angle for a little bit. Looked like the booster would roll <laughs> or slide a bit. Probably not. It's another day. It's another shot of the Rocket Garden, but it's another day there at their Rocket Garden. Continuing to root around. I think that's a good thing to say there. Root around inside the ship. I wonder how long that Stargate building's going to last. Because it's getting to look a little small over there now. Back working on the Cyber Door. <laughs> the number of lifts. I, d I don't even think... I think they have to bring these lifts in from other places. I don't even think there's this many lifts in, in the RGV normally. I feel like they have to bring them down from Austin or down from Houston or something. Maybe there's a lot around Corpus where they have the refineries. It's another reinforcement piece. It almost looks like they're trying to put flames on it. It's flame shaped. The jet engine cowling. Why would they add that? It's, it's just another reinforcement that they add on to the, uh, I guess, attachment point, like where the, where the seams are, basically, and reinforce the seams. There you can sort of see the inside. You see the inside of the silver Fig Newton there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Work on Starhopper. There is a scissor lift underneath Starhopper, and uh, Mary said they were sort of moving some equipment out from under there. We're wondering if they're going to relocate Starhopper. It better not be to a place with a cutting torch. I'll tell you that right now. I hope it becomes a gate guardian of some sort for uh, Starbase just at a different gate. Some speculation it might go into the building due to the triangular hole that was spotted in one of the uh, aerial photos there we were looking at on the Flame Trench. But if you missed the Flame Trench, you should go back and watch the Flame Trench. If you want three hours of unfiltered raw, my opinions about stuff. EJ, Sawyer, Adrian there too. Good times. We always talk longer than we expected though. And there you have it. Those are the scenes from Starbase. Y'all keep the feedback coming down below. Give me some good names to call stuff. And I will see you nerds later. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Holiday weekend if you're in the States. But I'm out for now. Later nerds.